you study Satan's operation by studying what happened between him and Eve. First Timothy 2 and verse 13, where you read and laughed. Now I hope you don't laugh again because we're getting into a very serious discussion now. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Do we believe this? Verse 14. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Journey with me, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the book of the beginnings and see what exactly happened there. Genesis chapter 3. Story, story. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And he said unto the woman. Now when you read this, you will think it's just something that happened immediately in a matter of minutes. The Bible is written in summary. And so it does not give us the, the depth of the discussion. Because this is not just something that happened within minutes. I told you that in studying scripture, you have to use the mind of literature. You have to use the mind of a historian. You have to use the mind of an archaeologist. And then you have to use the understanding of a spiritual man. These are the four components you need to thoroughly study scripture. If all you have is the mind of a spiritual man, as powerful as that is, you will not really understand the Bible. Because the Bible has a literature component the bible has a historical component the bible has an archaeological component and then it has largely a spiritual component are we learning now watch carefully please we are studying satan now and he said unto the woman yea hath god said ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden now please listen carefully Go back to verse 1. Do you know why Satan came to the woman directly to talk to her? It's not because she was female. Mm -mm. There was something about the structure of dominion. Are you getting the point now? That when God gave man dominion, in the Garden of Eden it was very clear that even though Adam and Eve are spirits, had dominion but based on that earthly structure within the family context in the garden adam and man was head over her are we together now and satan would not come directly and attack the head but he knew that there was a connection between adam and eve there was something he understood that he would not be able to easily deceive adam but he knew that based on that structure there is a connection between Adam and Eve and the connection is love and that genuine love is love that comes with sacrifice so he didn't need to deal with the man he was not dealing with the man simply because he knew that once he got the woman the love the man had for the woman would be why he would fall so he didn't have to waste his time there <laughs> are you getting the idea now that if I can get Eve you will be seeing it that when Eve ate, she gave her husband what you call eating now. For the sake of this discussion, we'll still keep it at that. Most people think she just ate and called him and said, Sweetheart, where are you? You will find out in the Bible he was standing right there with her. He fell because of love. The Bible says Satan came and met the woman. <clears throat> now watch this. Notice the first thing, his conversation with the woman. Yea, had God said. Can you imagine? The beginning of his discussion mentioned God. Satan, look at the structure of his deception. Had God said. That means I told you that deception cannot work until what is true is known. Are you seeing the pattern here now? satan wanted all i need to know is what god told you that is the raw material for my fabricating my deception that means satan has no business coming to your life until god speaks the moment god speaks satan says now i have something to work with 
What did God tell you about your child? What did God tell you about your destiny? What did God tell you about your ministry? Deception is not possible until there is an awareness of the truth. In this case, what God said. Because everything God says is yea and amen. Let God be true and all men liars. Are we learning? And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden of Eden? Are you noticing that there's something with that statement? He was doing something to the truth. When I tell you truth can kill, believe me, it's not only a lie that kills. He did something that forced her to defend what God said. Now the woman, verse 2, the woman said, Satan, you didn't get that right. Let me correct you. This is what he said. We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. And he was listening. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God had said, ye shall not eat it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Satan said, thank you. Now, let me show you that I have an advantage of age over you. Verse 4. Do not be ignorant of the devil's devices. Are we learning how Satan operates now? When Satan comes to you, the raw material for his attack is what God has said. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Are you seeing now? Verse do you know what he was doing to her here? He was shaking the basis for her obedience. That means, now that I know what God has said, I know that faith is obedience. My next assignment is to do something to you. For God doth know that in the day that ye eat thereof, your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as the gods, knowing good, and evil satan was saying god is so insecure there is something he's hiding from you and that is why he vetted out his insecurity by putting a strict rule don't mind him trust me there is something i know when you eat this your eyes will be opened and you will be like him knowing good and evil verse 6 when the woman saw everybody say when the woman saw Hmm. the discussion started by saying but by the time we get to this point she has perceived so there does not just mean eyes she has conceived as a reality the woman did not fall by eating the fruit eating the fruit was proof she had fallen this was where the fall started perception don't think he just came to her one day and spoke to her. No. That's why I told you the Bible is written in summary. You, you need to use, you don't come like that in one day and convince someone. Go and read your Bible. The Bible spoke about Joseph and Potiphar's wife. How many times did she come to him? Frequently. J Judas is carried. It was not just once they met him and said deceive deceive jesus is within the character of satan to be consistent the same way you don't come and most times you don't meet a woman once and say marry me and then you have to come again that structure satan was patient and came and he said when the woman finally saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the that's not normal seeing, my brothers and sisters. Mm -mm. There is a kind of seeing that had attacked her spirit. Are we together? The Bible says the tree to be desired. Look at all this. Look at these emotional expressions. It's more than just seeing a tree. She was always looking at the tree. What did she now see? The Bible says she took of the fruit thereof and did eat maybe in another time as god helps us i will really explain to you what it really means the concept of the tree 
and the fruit. But so that I don't disrupt the flow of what we are doing, we'll just accept it as eating. But you see, the concept of eating and the tree, these are, these are prophetic expressions. It may not necessarily mean tree and fruit, but it does not interrupt our understanding, even if we understand it that way. So we'll continue. The Bible says she did eat. Please, everybody, read the remaining part. And gave also unto her husband with her. Is it in your Bible? What did he do? Did he throw it? She ate. Now watch what happened. Do you know that when she ate, there was no effect. It was when he ate that something happened. Because the sheep only scatters when you strike the shepherd. She ate and she gave him. Ate from deception, he ate from love. In any case, they ate. That's the bottom line. And then the Bible says the moment that happened, notice Satan stopped talking to them. It was over. You thought that after eating, you say, now, how do you feel? That is the structure of deception. Now that he had achieved his goal, he will now leave them with God. And he says, now off I go. The Bible says the eyes of them were open. Did he tell them something like that will happen? Absolutely. He said your eye will open. But they did not understand what he meant. The Bible says, and they knew. Now notice what happened here. There was already a disruption in the way God arranged the spirit of a man. Because the way God designed man was the spirit of a man was supposed to have the highest level of ascendance in direct touch with the spirit of God. The body would barely be an instrument of execution. Are we together? The mind that consists of the will, the emotion, and the intellect would midwife the spirit and the body. These are just the platforms for the spirit to be able to operate with the body. And now we see that something is wrong. You can see that the soul came alive. The eyes of them were open and they knew they were naked. You see shame, attributes of emotions. They sowed fig leaves and made aprons. They ran away. God is about to speak. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves. Everybody say fear. Yeah. They hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. Should you run away from the presence of the Lord? But now we see something happening to them. Are you seeing the way Satan works? He did not have to keep talking. The destruction can happen whether he's there or not. It's a programming. He has done something to them. The same way Satan can come and do something to a village. And after 30 years, it is still working. Whether he supervises or not. It's like a software. Now, he left these people. The next time we hear him talking was in answer to a question God asked him. Left the woman. Deception. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of God amongst the trees of the garden. Verse 9. And the Lord called unto Adam. Are you seeing how God respected his own structure? When he came, he never spoke to the woman until man gave him permission to speak to the woman. When he came, he spoke to the man who had that seat of authority and dominion. Adam, you are the one I put alongside your wife. What has happened? I look spiritually and I don't see you sitting on that throne of dominion again. When he said, Adam, where art thou? God, God speaks spiritually. There was a position that you could see you could look down to the earth and know that the man in charge is seated there. It is that same position that the demon said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. When we look in the spirit, we, all those who have dominion, we see that position. Where are you? Adam, where are you? You are lost. Adam. Who shifted you without pushing you? Who shifted you? Who, who gained mastery over you and made you to move 
year off, you left the place of power and yet force was not used on you. That is the power of deception. I overcame Hallelujah He won the victory Hallelujah I overcame Hallelujah I overcame 